Good afternoon. God bless you, everybody. We are so thankful on this Memorial Day 2020 of our Lord coming to you live at 2.30 p.m. from Norfolk, Virginia, where God is richly moving and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 We are so thankful. Amen. This Fishers of Men special presentation that the Lord himself has so fit to allow one of our, we claim her as our very own, amen. I don't believe there's too many places she goes that people don't try to claim her, amen. amen. But this mighty woman of God that God has allowed to come into the house and into the city, and we are so thankful here, First Lady and myself, that the Lord has blessed her to be here with us this afternoon, and that is none other than evangelist, prophet, Fivefold ministry mentor, teacher, preacher, entrepreneur, Amen. you name it. Mighty woman of God, Donella Moore. Come on, let's put our hands together for her. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited, y'all. You just don't have no idea. We are thankful for what the Lord allowed to happen today with us as, as we had. I want to say a record number, First Lady. Yes. Amen. Our partners to come out and help us today feed uh, the children and to and to go into the community and pass out tracts and witnesses Amen. to the homes today. We fed 60 uh, kids and we went out to 75 homes this morning. And now we're here with the prophet, the woman of God. Amen. 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 We're going to ask First Lady to say something to the People out there in Facebook land. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Um, just like Pastor said, welcome. We thank you for um, logging on today. We ask that you click, tag, and share. Um, get your watch party started. There is a word from the Lord today. Yes. We thank all of our partners for chiming in on with us today. And um, share the link. Let everybody know that a word is about to go forth. And again, we thank you for tuning in today to, to listen to this live. Amen. 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 And, and we want to see them hearts. We yes. love to see them hearts go up. Yes. I love to see them clapping hands and dressing and the women dressing in the dresses, dancing before the <laughs> Lord. That, that, that makes us excited. That yes. lets us know that you are watching with us yes. and you're interacting with us. Thank you for those hearts that are going up right now. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Bless the Lord for you. But at this time, uh, we just want to introduce, let the prophet introduce herself and uh, say who she is and where she's from and um. Uh, as the Lord see fit, then we're going to come back and um, we have a few questions that we're going to ask the prophet. So we're going to ask the prophet to uh, just speak to Facebook world out there, prophet. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, blessed Memorial Day yes. uh, to each of you and your families. And um, I just thank God for being here yes. in the Hampton Roads area uh, yes. with my brother, Pastor Percy Barnes and his beautiful First Lady. My sister, Alicia Bond, yeah. at uh, Fishers of Men Fellowship Center, yeah. where uh, my mother, God bless you, Mommy, is yeah. the mother of the church, uh, yeah. Elder Pearl Shaw. Yeah. So I'm down here visiting her, and um, I just thank God for the invitation to join you all today yeah. and yeah. Um, on this momentous day where we honor those who have sacrifice their lives for our country. Yes. Um, God bless all the families yes. who have um, veterans in their families who yes. have served and who have given up their lives for our freedom. Yes. We thank God for you. We're mm -hmm. praying for you. And um, the best is yet to come, even in the midst of uh, warfare or anything you've gone through. Yes. The best is still yes to I come believe because it. God, Jesus, who is Lord, yes. sits on the throne. Amen. 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 Come on, let's just give God. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful introduction. And, and she's already going to rob my thunder, but I'm going to still try to steal a little of it back. And, and one of the things I, I want to say, I just believe, and I believe, I believe in this woman of God. And I, I, I'm telling you, I, I, people don't understand that when the prophets speak, they're not speaking a word. They're speaking life Amen. into you. Yes. Because Amen. it's coming from heaven yes. into the earth realm. Yes. And Amen. I just believe, Prophet, 
when you was on 95, heading this way, <laughs> God spoke to you and told you, I'm going to use you while you're down there. Amen. Now, whether you heard it or not, <laughs> I just know God spoke to you in your spirit. So, right, right quick, you, you made reference to your mother. You have no idea what Elder Pearl Sharp yeah. means to fishers of men. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 call, you call her the mother of the church. And, and, and she's not the mother. She's the mom. Amen. <laughs> and, and that time where, even though she's the elder and I'm her pastor, She'll say, come on in here, son. I need to talk to you. Yeah. And she'll, she'll help me as a mother. Yes. And, and yes. she is truly the mother yes. of this ministry. Yes. Amen. And we, we, we love her dearly. Yes. We love your whole family, First Lady, yes. and myself. And we know when this COVID first started, how concerned you were in Northern Virginia, your brother in Suffolk, Virginia, your sister in Virginia Beach, and all of your, your big family that y'all have. <laughs> and First Lady and myself couldn't go to the house and see Mark. <laughs> and boy, that was hard. Yes. But we were able to talk to her. Yes. But we're thankful that, that God has, has allowed your family to open your hearts and share your mother with the church yes. and with us and not allow jealousy to creep in. No, so, so, so we know you we know about your mother. But but I understand you have a son that is in the military. And I want you to uh say who your son is and what branch does he serve in in the military. Okay, well be, before I get to Deshaun, I just want to say with respect to mommy, we've been sharing mommy with our family, with our friends, with our community, yeah. and with the world at large since we were born. All right. We just right. Around who we are. Yeah. Um, we know that our mother was born for uh, a higher purpose um, beyond us and the gifts that God gave her being her yeah. children. Yeah. And we also know that she always desired um, a lot of children. <laughs> and so God, through um, the spiritual realm, Mm -hmm. with spoken children like mm -hmm. you and First Lady and yeah. so many others that yeah. are probably watching this Facebook Live, um, God has really given her the anointing to be uh, a national mother. Yes. Yes. And That's so right. when you know the uh, assignment on your life, mm -hmm. which one of our assignments as her children is to share her with the lives of other people throughout the world that know uh, the spirit of jealousy or the spirit of um, being selfish, um, does not creep in because Amen. that's not Amen. the way of the Lord. And Amen. So it's important to know what your assignment is, and that's truly one of our assignments to sh to know that our mother is uh, the mother to so many others. And so we come in the honor, Robin, Debbie, Jermaine, and I. We thank you. We thank First Lady, yes. and so many of you that love our mom. Yes. Um, I won't say as much as we do, <laughs> but pretty close. That's an honor to us, and we, we thank you, and I thank you and First Lady for looking out for Mommy while we are away, yes. and we're not able to always be right here with her. So with that being said, um, no, we, it's a joy to share Mommy hold, with Mommy. Hold, You said something that I believe went over our head. You said that God has blessed you guys mm -hmm. With a national mother. Yeah. Yeah. See, so many times that goes over our head. Because see, we have some people here in our studio audience today that they are state mothers. They are state mothers, but they haven't made it nationally yet. And when you said that, God said no. That means that we're supposed to give a national mother national honor. And Debbie, please forgive me. We haven't forgotten New York City. Amen. When we were saying sharing you, Amen. sharing your mother, yeah. I left off dead. Mm -hmm. And Debbie, I'm sorry. Well, she's the oldest. Yes, yeah. and boy, she's a fireball, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she's a New Yorker for real. Okay. Don't say the one is all except the baby girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when we understand fishes are men and we got a national mother with us. Yeah. Then we know how to love her, Absolutely. treat her even more, yeah. and respect her even more. Yeah. 
to yeah. that point. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, again, we just thank God for that. And yes. I'm an honor to share, Mommy. With respect to my son, yes, I'm a proud Marine mom, and that is a blessing uh, in itself. And my son is a, a corporal. He was just promoted meritoriously okay. with total honor yes. um, to a corporal. And uh, the next rank being sergeant, and he's serving in Okinawa, Japan. Um, thank God to technology, um, I get to video chat with him every day. And, Wonderful. And I'm honored that God birthed a Marine out of me because you know only 1% make it to be a Marine. Yes. So because of the power of God and the grace of God, I birthed out a Marine. Mommy birthed out a Marine grandson. And again, that's all goes back to the anointing and the power of God in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's also a testimony to other single moms because when I had the Sean, I wasn't married and um, that mm -hmm. was a part, that's a part of my life testimony and I asked God for forgiveness, but I asked God also for grace. I said, wow, I looked at this baby boy when mm -hmm. um, and called up my engagement to his dad and I was like, wow, you leaving me to raise this boy by myself? I didn't know. How I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it because right. I had uh, an example for mommy who mm -hmm. raised us as a single mom right. in Brooklyn, New York, a big city. And mm -hmm. so I knew if mommy could do it, and I could do it. Mm -hmm. And um, so I thank God with the village that we have with our big family, you know, our family is really big. Yes. So with mommy, my father, daddy, oh, daddy, shout out to you. You are a veteran That's served right. in the army, so I'm an army daughter. Thank <laughs> God for my dad, who's That's also right. an elder in the church. That's and, right, amen. Uh, elder Harvest Lynn Owens, Daddy, I'm so proud of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Blessed Memorial Day to you. So, our family, our uncles, our aunts, our church, our community are uh, always a part of helping me to raise a son as a single mother mm -hmm. who have never gone to jail. Mm. Um, has not and better not disrespect his elders. Amen. Uh, <laughs> loves the Lord Amen. and loves his country. He is a patriot and he counted the honor to lay down his life for you and for me Amen. and to serve uh, under the current presidential administration um, that we are under. So, Amen. yeah. I birthed a Marine. I'm a Marine mom. Amen. Well, I, I always like to tell, and this is for the young ladies, a lot of you don't know that First Lady was in the Marine Corps. So I married a Marine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So I know. Oh, man. Man. That takes a gun. Yeah. I'm a street soldier. <laughs> and I was involved in part of guerrilla warfare. <laughs>
I'll be a human resource attorney in the next two years. Mm -hmm. And so um, mm -hmm. I was completing law, doing my law school studies, as well as working full time at a major law firm in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And both from world, we, we never thought we would get to work from home because it just wasn't, even though um, technologically and business wise things were progressing for years to remote workers. Okay. Um, in our industry, it's sort of like this won't ever allow mm -hmm. us to because, you know, just our culture, mm -hmm. the, the workaholic culture, the being hands on for our clients. Mm -hmm. And so to experience being able to work from home uh, as, you know, uh, in the law firm world, especially in Washington, D.C., is amazing. Yes. I do miss the social interaction mm -hmm. with my coworkers because I'm a people's person. Okay. Too. But I have to admit, I do not miss the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the the traffic. metro and all of that. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And I love um, being able to work on my own terms as far as whether I want to work with uh, uh, pajamas on, cooking breakfast while I'm doing, you know, whatever. I love that. Um, I do get dressed daily, as like tomorrow. I'm here, but I'll be getting dressed because I have Zoom okay. meetings. But okay. I love it. And um, I've been taking this time, which is part of the word that God is going to have me release okay. in a little while. Okay. I've been using this time um, to grow uh, um, and to learn. My, my, my. Um, during the shutdown. And so yes. God's been doing great things. Wonderful, wonderful. My quarantine. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, now, what city are you located in where you reside now? What city? So I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. And I currently live in the Washington, D.C. area. Okay. They call it as an acronym the DMV. Oh, DMV. DC, Washington, Maryland. Maryland, and North Virginia. 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 North Virginia. So I live on the North Virginia yes. side. Okay. In the Texas okay. corner area. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So okay. my commute to work during rush hour is at least 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, man. Well, well, we're just so thankful, and we are excited. But I believe that, the, that Amos says, let me ask you this, and I guess what I'm getting into, because she's going to share a little word with us, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Y'all want to hear a little word from the Amen. 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 God is saying. Amen. God says, he won't do nothing in the earth until he reveal it to his prophets first. Mm -hmm. So, without getting into what you're going to bring, what do you see God saying generally to the body of Christ right now? Yes. That's an excellent question. God is doing a reboot. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's doing an overhaul. Yes. He's doing a restructuring. Mm. He's doing a restoration. Okay. And before any of those things can happen, what needs to take place? A shutdown. Mm. Mm. Amen. Yeah, you get the blood through you before you can crank it back up. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> before anything can be restructured or rebooted, it has to start, mm. it has to start from fresh all over mm. again. Mm. And I think in the church and the kingdom of God, we got so lax, mm -hmm. and we got so church mm -hmm. that we became less of him, mm -hmm. being Amen. dependent on him, mm -hmm. allowing the service to be directed by him, mm -hmm. uh, allowing our lives to be submitted to him. Come on, man. Come on. So we came, became, even I'm included, I had to repent. We became so churchified. We all knew how to do church, uh -huh. but we forgot how to do God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then we allowed the world to creep into the church. It's become so synonymous. Sometimes I'm looking at church and I'm like, I'm, it's like I'm looking at everyday life. Or I'm looking at my old lifestyle. Uh -huh. You know? Uh -huh. um, and so God said, no, uh, you know, what the enemy may have meant for evil. God has turned that around for the good with this COVID situation. My, my, my. And so, yeah. And so that's what's happening in the church. And that's why, you know, God has allowed this temporary uh -huh. shutdown. Yes. And But while they're being a the temporary shutdown, he's doing a permanent buildup. 
This is amazing. It's gonna bless the church and bless the world at large. This is amazing. And bring a lot of people into the, to the church. This is amazing. Amen. This is good to me. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. Amen. Again, not to take away from those we've lost. Yes. I've endured that. Yes. The grief of losing people. My I'm God. My God. Um, but it's sort of like synonymous with Memorial Day. You know how some lives had to be sacrificed so that we may live. Yeah. So that we may have freedom, mm -hmm. we need to give honor to those who have passed due to COVID. Because in reality, they have sacrificed their lives Go ahead, for Lord. what we are hey, to be blessed with. Mm -hmm. when we come okay. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. when we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't oh, want to you up. I, oh. I, I feel God in this place oh, right here, right now. And, yeah, and I know God is you, touching Amen. you right there that are watching Woo. by way of Facebook and even those that are in here with us right now. Hey, that's my yeah, and Lord. we know that God is going to speak through this woman of God's mouth Thank as she declare what God has given her in, in the time that she has that I believe is going to bless somebody. Yeah. And, and, and I want you to put them hearts up right now. Let me, yeah. let me see them hearts right now. Let me see those hearts going up on the, on the, on the monitor, on the screen, and that you're with us and you see what God is saying in this season. The, the Bible declares that a, a grain of wheat got to fall to the ground and die. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Christ had to do. He had to lay down his life that the whole world might be have an opportunity to be saved. Yeah, and I'm so excited what God is so doing. This is our time to lay down our own. Oh, oh thank you, God. Wow. Oh, so you tell me I gotta die. Yeah. That's good there. Tell, put, put it on the on, on hashtag I gotta die. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta die to my will. I gotta die to my way. I gotta die to myself. Yeah. That, that the more no more I am a Christ yeah. that is in me, which is the what? Hope of glory. Yeah. And some of it we have to die to others because we came we came so dependent on other people. We became dependent on a man or woman of God to feed us the word of God. So we sit in church and get that and think that's all. Then we can go about our way. No, God said, no, you can get it from the man or woman of God, but you still got to come to me for revelation. You still got to come to me for exegeting of the word of what I'm saying to you. you. So this quarantine also has detached us from people. It's detached me. I couldn't wait to hit the road to get to my mother. I couldn't get to her uh, for the past two months. And I said, Corona be there. I'm going to see my mother today. <laughs> oh, really? God was saying, you know what? I'm not going to let you depend on your mother or your daddy uh, for the next two months. You got to go to God for yourself. You got to go to him for your next uh, instruction of what you got to do and where you got to go. So notice, we have been quarantined from each other. Because we become so dependent on our the man in the pulpit. We become so dependent on our parents. We become so dependent on our bosses, on our children, on, on our nieces, our nephews, our friends, and our community. But God is saying, no, I'm isolating you to self because it's all about me and you. Me and you. Not you and me. Me and you. So we've been forced to this isolation for that reason as well. Say she said with me, she preaching already. Amen. She preaching already. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So we, we're gonna let her transition for just a minute. Get a swallow of water. We're gonna put the flame out. Yeah. 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 And we're gonna yeah. we're gonna position the camera yeah. and, and move, and then we're gonna hear. And from the woman of God, do you need a microphone? Or you're, you're good as like you are. I don't know. I'm fine. Just right okay. Here. Well, we're going we're gonna to get the media team to move the equipment. And we're going to position over there. And you can go over there and stand. And I want you to know as we sit here and those that are in the uh, studio with us today in the Fellowship Center, the next voice that you will hear, the next voice that you will hear by way of word of God will be that of none other than Prophet Evangelist Fivefold Ministry, uh, Woman of God, Darnell Moore from Northern Virginia. Come on, put your hands together. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Woo. My God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 
Thank you, Lord. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord, I submit myself to you as your daughter. Uh, yes, Lord. At this time. Yes, Lord. Lord, not that I'm going to decrease me and you increase. Yes, yes. Because, Father, you have a word for not only those listening under the sound of my voice, but you have a word for me. Yes. So, God, birth it out. Yes, God. Yes. And then after it's birthed, let us declare it. And let us demonstrate it. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Again, thank you so much, Pastor Barnes and Lady Barnes, for yes. having me. And I'm not going to be with you for long. I just want to share some scriptures that's relative to this quarantine time and what the Lord, word of the Lord has been speaking to me before COVID. Yes. And as well as during. God loves you. God. God loves you. Yes, Lord. Let's get that out the way. Yes. Satan has tried to infiltrate the mind and the heart with the idea, the misnomer that God has stopped speaking. Yeah. That God has stopped moving. Yeah. And that maybe because of a sin in your life or a mistake that he no longer loves you. But God, mm. first of all, says, understand this. I love you. I got you. Mm. To understand what God is speaking to us with fullness whether you have a personal relationship or not. After understanding his love for you, it's critical to understand who you are as a result of him. Yes. Identity. During this quarantine time, notice you've been removed from everything mm -hmm. that you're used to doing. You've been removed from everybody who you've been comfortable being around, mm -hmm. even some of those who you've depended on. Mm -hmm. But God has removed us to, one, remind us that he loves us so we can experience that love. And also to speak to us yes. about our identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you and I were born on purpose for purpose. Mm -hmm. yes. But in order to understand that purpose, we must know who we are. Hallelujah. And the only way to understand that is to be in quiet. Mm -hmm. TV off. Activity off. Mm -hmm. We've had time to do nothing mm -hmm. but Go from one room to the other in our house <laughs> and sit down yes. and hear what God is By saying. God. Amen. Is that true? I know Amen. it's true for me. You're working, you're working. And so God has been speaking. Many of us have been hearing, but some of us have been letting it go through one ear out the other. Today it stopped. Today, I want you to say, God, I hear you. Mm -hmm. God, I receive you. Yes. And God, I trust you. Yes. Uh, your identity is in God. Mm -hmm. Before the quarantine, some of you had your identity in your job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I have a great title. <laughs> some of you had your identity in your possession. Mm -hmm. Oh, I drive this car. I wear that type of clothing. Or I have this much in the bank. Mm -hmm. Or my house have this many bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God is saying now you have no choice 
but to understand your true identity. Yes. Yes. Because once all that is gone, removed, or called void, which everything else right now is void, then all we have is Him. Amen. Yes. Yes. No matter the circumstances of your birth, says yes. the Lord, I birthed you into the world mm -hmm. because I needed you. <laughs> you mean in my mess, Lord? In my imperfections? Yes. I need you. My God. A lot of us judge each other and say, you don't know how he used to live. You don't know how she used to live. And God said, yes, I do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because I already knew the path that I want to take. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I still choose you. All right, God. I needed you, son or daughter. Messed up, jacked up, uh -huh. or in greatness, or even if you live in holier than thou, what you term as holier than thou. I needed you. God says Your identity is in me. Mm. Glory to God. Psalm 91 verse 14 says, Because he has set his love. That's why I started out with reminding you. He loves you. Listen what God says. Because he has set his love upon me. Somebody yes. say me. Me. Yes. Therefore. So anytime you have a transitional word, that means he's speaking a directive, but there's a transformation to the directive. So therefore, it's transforming. God's saying, because I have set my love upon you, therefore, are you ready for what happens? Yes. Mm -hmm. I will deliver him. Oh. Believe mm -hmm. 
So that's why identity is so important because when you know who you are in Christ, then when Christ speaks to you, you receive that which he says that's concerning right. you. Yeah. Yeah. So when God, because I know who I am, my identity is royal daughter of Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. So when God says royal daughter of Christ, I'm going to bless you with a mansion. I'm going to make you the head and not the tail. I'm going to make you debt free where you never have to borrow again, but you nice. want to be living. Nice. That's the position nice. of God's truth. And that is where we're supposed to be. Amen. So when God speaks that to me, I don't need a prophet to tell me that Amen. I already know that. That's right. Because I know my identity. So one, you know he loves you. Two, know your identity. He birthed you, not man. He brought you in the world for a reason. Glory to God. Amen. Your identity is wrapped up in him. Amen. Not in things, not in people, Amen. not in job and career, and not in possessions. Amen. Say, my identity, my identity is wrapped up in him. It's wrapped, wrapped up in him. So Psalm 91, 14, meditate on that. Because he has set his love upon me, yes. therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known me. me. Glory to God. Amen. God know me. Yes, he do. Psalm 108.13. With God's help, we will do mighty things. Yes, sir. Yes. He will trample down our foes. Yes, sir. Yes. Somebody say, I will do mighty things. I, I will do, do mighty things. things. That's not what I'm saying. That's mm -hmm. Psalm 108.13. All right. So during the quarantine, you're coming out. Thank you, God. I'm coming mm -hmm. out. Thank you, God. And we're coming out greater. We're coming out wiser. We're coming out mm -hmm. healthy. Right. We're coming yeah. out greater. Yeah. 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 And we're going to come out being reminded. We're born on purpose, for purpose, and with the understanding of not only who we are, but whose we are. Mm -hmm. So when we come out with what God is going to bless us with, we understand that the blessings aren't for just ourselves, yes. but for Him. Amen. For His glory. Amen. Glory Amen. To God. Amen. During this quarantine, I've been so blessed in so many ways, but I know that those blessings aren't just for me. Amen. Yes. So Amen. what have I been doing? As soon as the blessings come in my hand, mm. I release it. My, my, my. Amen. 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 I've taught my children, when God bless you financially, even if it's one of your sources of income, notice I said one of. Mm. That's because I teach myself and my children have at least seven to eight sources of income. Amen. Uh, so I teach them when that comes in, you share some. Woo! You oh, spend oh. some. Hallelujah. And you say something. Amen. Okay. Amen. So glory to God. During this quarantine, it's a learning time. You've had quietness to get close to God, to establish that personal relationship in a way you haven't before that is detached from establishing it through your church, That's detached right. from establishing it through your pastor. That's right. Your pastor has to make it to God for himself. Amen. You can't depend on that you have got to establish a relationship with God for yourself Amen. and understanding who you are ah. and knowing that what God has promised you, this is the season that he's going to give it. Yes. And he's going to give it to those who have trusted him, who have believed him, <laughs> and who have obeyed him. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So we're going to do mighty things mm. when we come out of this quarantine. Somebody say mighty things. Mighty, mighty things. things. Because Luke chapter 138, now, hallelujah. Now, I'm a scripture type of person, so y'all don't mind the word, right? Amen. That's, word. that's Amen. what I'm speaking. Yep. I, all I have is the word, because God no one has nothing to say without God. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 1, verse 38. Mary responded. I'm responding. I am the Lord's servant. Ah, and everything you have said about me, Lord, come true. Yeah. Now, during the quarantine, mm -hmm. have you asked God, God, what are you saying about me? <laughs> what are you saying about me? You said that earlier. <laughs> what is my identity? What is my purpose? What is my assignment? Where am mm -hmm. I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to live? Ah. Where am I supposed to work? Go what ahead. business am I supposed to build? Who am I supposed to bless? That's right. What has God said about me? Mm. Go 
That's what we're to ask during this time. Oh, God, what are you saying about me? That's what I've been asking. Where am I to move? Who am I to date? Who am I to marry? When am I to marry them? You're getting in some deep water. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Or what engagement am I to call them all? Did I make a wrong turn in my life? What road am I supposed to be in my God? Do I need to let that person go? Do I need to stop doing this? Do I need to stop doing that? God, what are you saying to me? Oh, my God. This is oh, my God. My because I belong to you. My identity is wrapped up in you. My love is upon you. So, God, what do you have for me to do? Glory to God. What do you want to say now that it's quiet? I'm not in rush hour traffic. Hallelujah. I'm not around, around millions of people. I'm not hanging with the friends all day long because we can't go nowhere. Amen. <laughs> I'm not running to and fro to every family Amen. event. Amen. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, Pastor, but what? even some church functions. That's right. Amen. You work it. Some of us in the church the run to the conference, the conference, the conference, the conference. It's like, did God tell you to go to that conference? Did God tell you to go to that party? Did God tell you to go to that event? You got to be in position to receive Come on. what God has assigned for you. Listen Amen. to the prophet, glory to God. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 1, verse 38. I am the Lord's servant. So I want to know what he has said concerning me. Amen. Somebody ask God. 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 What are you saying? What are you saying concerning me? Concerning me. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now let that sit for a minute. Think about it. God's going to speak one word to you right now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's have a moment of silence. You have asked God what he has said about you. Give him a moment to speak. No, 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 Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. I love mm. the scripture. Thank you, God. Of quarantine. Thank you. Mm. Ezekiel 34, 26. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless my people and their homes. How mm. about mm. Around my holy hill. Thank you, Jesus. And in the proper season, I will send the showers they need. Ooh, there will be showers of blessing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There will be showers of blessing. Amen. Yes, he is. The Lord can not only bless us, but our homes now, because we're spending quality time at home. Mm -hmm. My God. When was it, before this happened, be honest with yourself. When was the last time you sat across the dinner table from your mother, your child, <laughs> your wife, your yeah. husband? That's right. And had dinner. Help us in here. Pray. And said the grace of God over your food. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And broke bread together as mm -hmm. a family. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. You know, I was telling one of the attorneys that I work with, that's one of the greatest things about this quarantine time. We have spent time with each other. We have made our houses homes again. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if that's a studio, a one-bedroom, glory to God, or eight-bedroom. Mm -hmm. 
Without God, it's not our home. Amen. 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 Say it again. And without each other, <laughs> it's just a house. Yes. Yes. Amen. Say it again. Amen. So Ooh. this quarantine time, God has come to bless the people of God, but also the homes of the people collectively. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for blessing your home today. Amen. 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 I'm going to close out on this last scripture. I love the word. You all love the word? Amen. 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 I hope you all been writing down the scriptures. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Lord. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And final. Thank you, Lord. Psalms chapter 105. Thank you, Verse 37. I say, hallelujah. Oh, you all about to just oh eat shut up. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Mm. The Lord brought his people out of Egypt. <laughs> Loaded uh, <laughs> yeah. with silver and gold. Yeah. And not one among the tribes of Israel even stumbled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't hear that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, happenings in my life as it relates 
relates to God's instructions to me coming out of Egypt. Remember when the Lord said earlier, some of us went in in poverty, mm -hmm. but are going to come out in wealth. Mm -hmm. Now, I shared this the other day with Pastor Barnes and First Lady. That's right. And it's regarding financials. I don't know how many of you all keep up with what's going on in the business news, but the fiat, which is the U.S. currency, is really weak and will soon be null and void. Mm -hmm. This is a time where God is doing a restructuring, not only in the church, but in the earth, in the world. And it's a season where many of you can learn new things to birth out the creativity <laughs> that God has put into you. Say so, preach. None of us were born for nothing. None of us were born empty. Mm. Now, many have died empty, mm. meaning whatever God gave them, the gifts and talents, they didn't use it. So it's buried in the cemetery with those people. We don't want to be those people. Amen. We want to burst out what God gave us. Amen. There are millionaires, billionaires, and trillionaires being made during this COVID season. Amen. How popular is that know is that happening? There is a seed within you, Rabba Shete, Roba Shata, that must be birthed. It is a gift. It is a talent. It is knowledge. It is wisdom. It is a business. It is a book. It is real estate. Mm -hmm. It is stocks. It is crypto. What's for me may not be for you. But this is the time of quietness where you must ask God what are you saying concerning me and what is the gift of creativity that you are going to use for me to bless the world for your glory and for you to bless me financially. Mm -hmm. Digital money is here, it's coming. Study crypto. Yes, continue to invest in stocks and bonds. I'm not a financial advisor, but I wouldn't put my hole into it mm -hmm. because the fiat is collapsing. Remember when technology came into play years ago and so many millionaires were made who had invested or created technology companies? Mm -hmm. This is a time when we're moving to a different season of how businesses are ran and how jobs are done. We can't continue to think the old way. <laughs> Grow up just to get a job. It's time for the people of God to think, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business person. Because you can't depend on another job to keep you employed. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you could depend on God ah, yeah. to keep you created. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. God spoke and it was done. That's right. You and I have that same power. That's right. So ask God, what am I supposed to birth out? When I come out of quarantine, what is it, God, that I'm supposed to birth out? Whenever you solve a problem and provide the answer that people need, that's where wealth come in. Mm -hmm. So what is the problem that you are supposed to be solving? Start researching cryptocurrency to understand where money is going and how to make money as a result thereof. Start keeping, if you never watch the business news, I know we, get, we don't want to be depressed with news, but listen to business news. Understand where business is going. There's some of us who are furloughed or laid off that may never get called back to these jobs. But God said, that's not for you to worry about. It's for you to plan accordingly mm -hmm. for. And God's going to show you the way out. God's going to show you the way up. Glory to God. So that's where your wealth is going to come from, from the Lord. From your creativity, glory to God, and from your assignment.
Amen. 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 So thank you, Lord, for this time. Thank you, Pastor Barnes and Lady Barnes. Um, I thank God for this time to share with you. You can follow me on social networking at His Love Evan. And I love you, and I want to see some of your testimony about how God blessed you coming out of this quarantine because you are coming out as the head and not the tail and as the Linda and not the bar. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give one hand. Amen. Let's come back and take a seat. Amen. Wow. That was awesome. All I can say is wow. Amen. Amen. Do y'all do y'all know as the woman of God was speaking it reminded me of a soft rain. Mm -hmm. And you could go outside when it's a soft rain mm -hmm. and not even realize until you go in the house and now you are soaking wet. Mm -hmm. The all that was released in here it was so anointed yes. that if you were listening mm -hmm. and had an ear to hear, Ooh. you could hear God speaking to you. Yes. 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 God is positioning you and I with opportunity yes. <laughs> and to walk in a wealthy place yes. in this season yes. in our lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is saying, pick up your mantle yeah. Yeah. and go forth, son and woman of God. Yeah. Oh, God, thank you, woman of God, yeah. for coming and releasing that yeah. Yeah. in here today. Yeah. Yeah. Such a prophetic word. Yeah. And, you, and, and she started off by helping us understand how much God loves us. See, when a preacher preaches and don't preach, that's what we want to preach. Right. But I ain't going to touch that. But I just want you to know, thank you yes. for being the willing vessel to yes. come here and be with First Lady and the partners and Beautiful. all of the people that, that you know all over this country yes. to share that with them. Yes. And, and, and what? give them your, your, your Facebook and your Instagram information if they want to contact you for maybe, because this, this was all God. We didn't plan this. Amen. We didn't necessarily yes. drive down. And, we didn't put her up in a hotel or nothing. This is all God Amen. and what Amen. he's doing. So there may be somebody that just wants you to come and speak to a women's group. or if, I don't know, but I heard God say, give your information, how people can contact you on your Facebook and Instagram, anything that you got out there Thank for. Thank you, Pastor Barnes. Um, and even, even your business. Let us know about your business. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> your business, your entrepreneurship, what you have. And some of your products before we close out. Well, love is here because I'm alive. <laughs> All right. Amen. And when I step my foot into a place, love enters. All right. Amen. Because God is love. Amen. 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 So on all social networking, whether it's on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can find me at His Love Evan. Actually, I'm here. It's on the shirt. Amen. Okay. His Love Evan. Follow me there. Um, I love to receive your personal emails as well, whether you just want to share a testimony with me, ask me a question, or need prayer, feel free to email me at Darnella at HisLoveyDance.com, D-A-R-N-E-L-L-A at HisLoveyDance.com. And also my website is HisLoveyDance.com, and there you can find more information about um, me speaking, um, whether it's um, spiritually related, inspirationally, I also do corporate speaking. I've been bringing um, marketplace ministry Amen. into the businesses Amen. and bringing uh, corporate love and showing companies, speaking to companies on how to bring the love culture into your business. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Because we spend a lot of time with the people we work with. Uh, they even some more time at work than we do before COVID with our families. So it's important to understand the corporate love walk as well. Amen. Amen. Walking to uh, the companies that God has positioned us in with the power of love to be successful. Um, so yeah, and like I said, I'm in law school. I thank God for that. I'm at Regent University. Shout out to me. Yeah. I'm my bachelor's degree. 
degree and now I'm yes. getting my law degree there and I'm excited about that and um, so God could use me um, in the legal field where I've been working for 33 years as a legal administrator mm -hmm. so I'm taking it to the next Thank level God. Um, as an attorney And on, the, on in life that I also trade, I trade stocks, and I wish I could I share with first lady how to do it. Many of you, I trade stock, I trade cryptocurrency, and um, I've been really blessed. Um, the Lord has really blessed me. I, I can't say uh, I am a crypto billionaire, and I want to share that because I may not have the million now, but those of you who invest in cryptocurrency now, which is digital money. This is the way it's going. Even if you own um, point, if you own zero point one of Bitcoin, uh, you're already considered uh, a Bitcoin millionaire. Amen. So um, I own more than zero point one. So I am a Bitcoin millionaire. Amen. And by 2021, Bitcoin is expected to be at fifty thousand or more. Mm, wow. uh, and in fact, I believe in it so much. It's one of the ways God's going to put money, the wealth in my hand, as a distributor to bless the people of God and bless Wonderful. the kingdom of God is through investment. Wonderful. And so I believe in it so much that um, this year, um, I promise that I won't give any of the children or people in my family uh, material gifts. They're getting cryptocurrency. I gave my son a certain amount for his birthday a month ago, and his. It's already at all $1,200. All right. <laughs> Amen. So Making money. My niece yeah. graduated the other week, and I asked one of her parents, what should I get her um, for graduation? And her parents said, Bitcoin. <laughs> Amen. So that's how powerful it is. So again, I spoke to that when I was speaking. I want you all to research it and be ready for the next wave of wealth that's Amen. about to hit the land. Amen. Because oh, it, it takes money to do ministry, Pastor. Lord, you know, Jesus. Yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yeah. We, yeah. We, are, we are so excited yeah. and thankful Thank you, for God. you and for what God allowed you to come and to those that are here. And um, First Lady, would you like to say anything before I make a few announcements and close us out? No. Okay. Just thank well, you for coming. Amen. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Your experience of kind of just learning how to get started with stock trading. Um, I'm still learning. <laughs> I've been playing with it, but still don't understand everything. But I, I've been playing with it. And I'm still learning. Yeah. So, yes. But it feels good to learn something new. Right? Something new. Yes. Get something yes. different. Yes. Like and we're trading right? stocks. We yeah. we're, we're in. It. We're yeah. in stock market. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. There's no reason to come out of this without learning. Right. Right. And yeah. doing something different. Mm -hmm. You keep doing the same thing, you're going to have the same result. Yes. Amen. 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 That's right. Well, to, to all of our partners, we, we want to thank you for taking uh, this hour out of your Memorial Day to celebrate, to be with us. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you on uh, Wednesday night yes. at 7 p.m. We have a special 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 another special 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 presentation that's going to come forth on wednesday night and also on sunday morning let's not forget partners let's not forget uh set up team minstrels and we're going to have our first drive-in church service amen. 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 amen it's going to be all of our partners that we haven't had service together as one since the third Sunday in March. Amen. And God is going to allow us to come together on the fifth Sunday. The praise dancers are going to dance and we're going to be practicing social distancing. And we invite you to come out. The praise team, the whole praise team is going to sing. And we're also going to use the internet to stream live our service. Mm -hmm. And we want all of our partners and those that have partnered with the ministry since the COVID-19 and we're looking forward to seeing you then. And we ask to listen to your prayers. And if God laid on your heart and today to sow a uh, dollar sign, Fishers of Men, VA, then sow into the ministry and allow God to bless you. And to all of those that came out this morning and helped us feed and go out and partner in the community, Pastor Barnes, First Lady, we love you. 
and we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Boy, we busy in the midst of this COVID. Amen. 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 So we're looking forward to what God is doing. And once again, before we close out, to this mighty woman of God that came from Northern Virginia. May God bless you. And tell us about to bring you our sister, Prophet Donnell Moore. Amen. Until we meet again, we love you and enjoy the rest Amen. of your evening. Amen. Amen. Amen.